So guys, this is the Marcus Park Show, and uh, this is my co-host, uh, Bert Bob, and uh, we are going to be installing this Haltech on this 1991 180SX. This is the jumper harness. Yeah, jumper harness, but we got the actual Haltech in this box. Elite 1,500? I forgot what this was. 1,500. 1,500. Yeah. All right, Marcus, um, talk to the people. So we're going to go over really quick on the things that I've done to it. Um, before we're going to install the hall tech right now, and then we're going to put it on the dyno. But when we put it on the dyno for the first time, we're going to have the stock computer in it just to make, just to see what the increases are in the power that I've, in the parts that I've put onto the car so far. So we have a front mount intercooler with, um, intercooler piping. I had it welded together. So it has very little chance of boost leaks. Um, I put in a coil radiator with an E-fan instead of a mechanical fan. I did a coolant reservoir circuit tank. Sport. Circuit sport. Yeah, a circuit sport coolant reservoir tank. Um, an oil filter relocation kit with an oil cooler that is right here. The front mount intercooler is right there. Um, we have an atmospheric blow-off valve instead of a recirculating blow-off valve. Um, and then the first thing that we ever did to this car was we put in a super sweet Apex, right? Apexi. Apexi air intake. That was super sweet. Made some uh, nice suction sounds when you really lay into it. Yeah. But the last thing that we did that I did was I put on a full exhaust from the downpipe, which it's not a full um, like turbo back. It's just a downpipe back. Uh, straight pipe, it's got one Megan part and then like the rest is like a custom straight pipe to a set of blast pipes out the back. Um, it's not that bad. And uh, for drivability things, um, I have coilovers, which are D-Max coilovers. I have camber arms in the rear. Um, you can adjust the camber in the front right here on the top. Um, and then I have an ISR shifter inside with a grip royal steering wheel, which isn't too bad for right now. So let me ask you a question. Yes, sir. So, so, so we dyno this thing, bone stock, fresh off the boat from Jayland. Land. I made like 154. Yeah, right around or there. Something like that. So now you're going to dyno it with all the bolt-ons, no tune. No tune. See where it's at. Yeah. And then on the dyno, we're going to remove the factory computer. Yep. Install the Haltech. Yes. And then see what we get tuned. Yeah. So we are going to install the Haltech today. And uh, Roberto's going to put a base map on it just so that I can move it back to its parking spot. And then later on this week, on Wednesday, when Jack said that the, day, that the night is going to be cooler, we're actually going to put it on the dyno and see what it makes that uh, then. Um, but before that, we're just going to put the Haltech in and um, see what is going on. But on Wednesday night, that's when all the fun happens. Crank up the boost, and we put on some 2-2 two -two step. Yeah. I'm pretty excited about your 2-2 two -two step. Me too. I want to see what it's going to sound will like. Will you wear a tutu while well, a tutu steps? I will wear my Bob Ross hair. All right, close enough. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Um, so, yeah, that's what we're going to do today. Um, it's actually pretty cool on how you install this Haltech. So, actually, I will let Burt Bob talk to you about how to install this Haltech really quick because you have to do some mechanical things inside it. But, yes, we did just change spots, so Burt Bob is going to tell you a little bit about this. Okay, so the Haltech comes in two style plug-and-plays. One is a, an ECU replica that literally just replaces your ECU. Um, in this case, it's not. It, has, it uses an adapter harness to go to a generic ECU. Uh, in this case, we're using the Elite 1500, which is part of the Haltex new series. These things are awesome. They should do a million things. And how it works is typically you have your ECU, you have your harness, they link together, right, like mm -hmm. so. What the Haltech does is they send you in a plug and play kit an adapter harness. What this harness lets you do is, it lets one end, plugs to your Haltech ECU. Like so, the other end plugs into the sweet adapter. Then, after you remove your factory ECU, we'll plug into your factory harness. Sweet. And that's it. It's a plug and play setup. Once this is done, uh, 
We're going to vacuum line to your ECU. At One that, vacuum. At that point, you're able to turn the key. You'll see lights come on. Plug in your USB cord, download the software, and um, start tuning. Sweet. Let's do it. So what we are going to do right now is we are going to show you guys exactly where in my car this is. I think I've already done this at least once, so um, I'm not really going to bore you guys for with... new viewers. Yeah, for the new viewers, and I'm not really going to bore the old viewers. Um, we're going to do it super quick. Uh, it's just under the kick panel on the passenger side, which on this car is actually the left side, uh, since this is a JDM car. Um, on normal cars, it's going to be on the right side in a kick panel. All right. Trying to plug this in. Make sure this is on there the right way. Yeah, believe in yourself, yeah. Believe in it. Because not that way. It goes this way. Oh look at that. Plug and play. I'm gonna call you plug and play Marcus. Um maybe. So how how hard is this install, Marcus? Um should I go get my laptop? A three, a three out of a, out of a ten. Pretty simple. I'll get my laptop. I mean, there's still no vacuum line, so. That won't take very long. No. Plugged in. Um, I redid a couple of my vacuum lines over here. Um, I'm actually going to have to take this one back off and put it underneath this one, unless I can. Yes, I can. Bang. Boom. There you go. Um, I am going to tighten up this line a little bit later, um, but for right now, we're just gonna leave it like that. It runs along the back, along the side, down through here. There's a little grommet that I poked a hole through, and it goes on the inside, on into the hall tech. So, I have the cable from the hall tech ran through the glove box, like we usually have them. And uh, sadly, I don't have a wide band right now. I will be getting one, I don't know, maybe next week or something like that. But in the meantime, Burt Bob is right here. He's got the key on. Hall tech's getting power. We're ready to load a base map onto this thing. Not quite. Not quite. I had like 17 updates. I guess I guess he's got like 20 million updates to do. And as you can hear, we got the Walboro 450 fueling up. Yeah, let's throw a map in here. Brito's got the map gonna upload in a second. I'm gonna put you guys on the stand right now. Right, right, right on that stand. There we go. So you do a couple beep boops. Yeah. yeah fine. He's got to find the right one. It's been a okay. while since he's done an I S13. I don't, remember, I don't remember if there was one for the 180 or if it was just if they just called it the one for the S13. I think it's just the S13. Probably. I don't remember. Is that Carlos talking in Spanish? Um, I think he's talking to his wife. He's talking pretty loud to his wife. Remember, his very wife has really good hearing, so he talks to her very lightly. Very slowly. Very slowly, calmly. Very intimately. Yeah. Brap, brap. It's very oh. notchy. Because yeah, you're not double clutching. I'm not double clutching, no. fucking granny shifting like you should. That's the opposite of what he actually says, but... I think so. I actually have no idea what the hell you're talking about. It was Fast and Furious. No, I know that, I just... Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, if it's right, should be able to almost start it. Yeah, I'm just gonna double check our injectors here, just to make sure that... They are stock. Yeah. Oh, wrong place. Here it is. Three seventy. All right, so that's stock. So in theory, this thing should just start. It doesn't. Sweet. Oh, I'll say something. There. We're cranking at 20,000 RPM.
I forgot what that means. The trigger's backwards. We gotta open up a little box. Oh, the back. The instructions thing? failed us. Fucking, <laughs> your instructions are bad, are wrong, dude. No, I, I've, I've had this happen before. It's there's just like certain year ECUs where it's different. So this one will in fact use the one for the Sylvia. So, so let's just do that real quick. And you gotta pop start. this little box apart and then beep boop and then done. So now that we got it on the right pin in the jumper, we're gonna go ahead. Make sure it's all good on the computer system here. The computer system? The old the, boop bopper? Yeah, the old... Right. You think it's gonna start? Bing bobber. Um, we're gonna hope. I'll see I hope it doesn't flood. Sick. Yeah. So, now that we got the base map on it, we can, um... Now that we have the base map on it, this is just a plug and play. Um, when we go ahead and uh, put this thing on the dyno, I am actually going to leave it all undone like all this. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and take my kick panel and this uh, stock ECU. I'm actually going to put the stock ECU back in. I'm going to take the hall tag and I'm going to put it on this seat here. Um, or I might even put it in a glove box just so it's a little bit safer. And um, I take the kick Keep panel and throw it in ash. there. So everyone knows you have a hall tag. Yeah, so that it gets fried by the Florida sun. Yeah, trying to help. I mean, I'm going to put the sticker on it. Oh, okay, we're gonna put the sticker on it. Okay. Everybody's gonna know I have all that. Put the sticker so, on. um, should we take it for a test drive just to make sure? Yeah, not worth it. No? So, well, it's a video. Yeah. we're gonna go ahead and uh, just swap it back over to the stock one and um, just wait till Wednesday. We should be good. So, just making sure all the like stuff, everything's reading correctly. So, that's what he's doing. And now we're done. So, yeah, uh, that was a pretty quick video. Um, we finally got the Hall Tech. We're gonna be ready to do some bings and pows and turn up the boost, go E85, bigger turbo and stuff like that. So just a little bit more time, guys. We got this stuff going. We'll see what happens on later on this week. For right now, that's about it though, guys. Um, the 180 has a new brain or soul, depending on what you want to think of it. Um, but she's looking good, sounds good, drives pretty decent, and uh, Next thing I have to do is I have to get wheels. I get the stuff powder coated and we'll be putting all that on there. So that's about it though, guys. If you guys liked the video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, comment, share, do all the good stuff. And I hope to see you guys in the next one.